Good evening. This is Francis Martel with Breitbart News, and I'm here with Richard Allen of JCC Watch, who helped organize this tremendous rally here in Times Square to stop Iran uh, from having a nuclear weapon. Uh, Mr. Allen, thanks so much for being with us. I'm thrilled to be here. And, Thank uh, you for coming. Oh, no, it's a great, great event, lots of energy. And I'd love to ask you about organizing this. How, how was that, planning this together and, and just getting this energy to coalesce into a big event? Well, this is a very, very serious topic. You know, we have a, a deal that is just outrageous. Uh, the lies that are said about it and trying to fool the people that this is something that we could live with. It's uh, on our website, which is stopiranrally.org. You could see the agreement yourself. You can read it yourself. This administration is trying to hide the agreement. You have to really search for it, and it's buried. But when you read the agreement, then any, anybody could read it. It's a very simple agreement. It'll take less than two hours to read. And when you read it, it's outrageous. Do you know that one of the things that it says in it is that we have to protect the Iranian nuclear facilities? I mean, it's amazing that America is now in the position of protecting the uh, Ayatollah's nuclear arsenal. And this is just really something that just cannot be, uh, st that cannot stand. And that's why a lot of volunteer organizations came together, activists, uh, people who normally, housewives, people who normally do not get involved, and this is spreading. We're gonna be co contacting all our senators, all our Congress people, and we're letting them know that this treaty, because that's what it is as a treaty, will not stand. We want everybody to call up there senators, their representatives, and to tell them they must vote against it. I'm really glad you mentioned these uh, grassroots organizations and, you know, thousands here today, uh, another rally in D.C. tomorrow. Could you talk a little bit about the power of those grassroots organizations to give a voice to people who would normally not know how to participate in the political process? Well, this is the most exciting thing. You know, we have a website, we have all volunteers, and it's a really robust web website, along with social media. Uh, we are going out there. It is spreading like wildfire. We have the largest rally in Times Square tonight. This is of historic proportions. When I look, when you're on the uh, podium and you look out, you're looking at eight blocks in either direction that the uh, uh, down Broadway, down Seventh Avenue, that you're able to see this crowd. And these people are coming after work. It's spread through uh, social media, through phone calls. And I think that uh, when you look at it, there's no national organization doing this. This is people that's getting together and we encourage everybody, find out what's happening in your own neighborhood, your own towns, your own cities. We just got word that it's gonna be in Phoenix, it's gonna be in Toronto, it's in Los Angeles, it's Washington DC. It is spreading all over. Syracuse right now, it's uh, uh, being simulcast in Syracuse. There's I think something like several thousand people in Syracuse that have bound to, uh, come together at a community center and are watching this right now. So all I could say is everyone, get involved. This is really life and death. This treaty cannot stand. Our future is uh, in the balance. And I'm telling Chuck Schumer, our senator, that he has got to take a stand. He can't fool us anymore. He cannot say that I'm going to vote against the bill, but then not encourage his uh, senators. And he hasn't even said that yet. We don't even know what he's going to say. But he's got to work against this bill and get all of his senators. He's got to get them. He's supposed to be a leader of the Senate. He must do this. And if he doesn't do it, we're gonna, we are going to go against Chuck Schumer. He is not going to stand in New York and be able to do this. This is our children. This is our lives. This is our families. We are, we are really under the gun here. When Iran gets a nuclear weapon, they will use it. It's no joke. They will use the nuclear weapon. And uh, for those listening at home who are uh, seeing this rally might be the first time that they really feel compelled to act on it, um, but they might not know exactly how to use social media, where to begin. Um, would you be able to give them uh, your website again, where to start? Uh, what's yes. the first step? Yes, we're, we are publishing on the website and listing every rally throughout the nation. People are sending us emails because we have a contact on the website. Send us where the rallies are. Organize, organize, organize. Get the citizens, get your friends, your family, all uh, organize everybody in your community to go to uh, contact the senators and Congress people and start the rallies. Everybody's empowered. Don't wait for orders. Now is the time for everyone to get active and make it happen. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations once again on this extraordinary event. Thank you. Thank you for having me.